Ten gears up for more hearings next week. U.S. President Donald Trump took to Twitter Saturday over the special counsel's Russia probe. He says while all agree the U.S. president has the complete power to pardon, why think of that when only crime so far is leaks against us? Fake news. Trump's son-in-law and top advisor Jared Kushner is set to take center stage on Capitol Hill Monday. This comes just days after new revelations about his finances. CGTN's Rowie Ruttenberg is following all of this from the newsroom. Rowie. Well, Susan, according to the Wall Street Journal, Kushner on Friday revised his financial disclosures and included more than 70 assets that had been previously left off. Now, these are documents that private citizens who transition to becoming federal officials like Kushner are required to submit to the government's ethics office. One former head of that office tells the paper such omissions or more likely oversights can be expected when you're talking about people with no previous government experience, people who have lots of wealth, lots of shifting assets, and lawyers handling much of this. Now, we know Kushner previously had to revise other forms related to security clearance in which he revealed contacts with more with representatives, I should say, from more than 20 foreign governments during the campaign and transition. The lawyer for Kushner and his wife, Ivanka Trump, says the couple is fully cooperating with all requirements. Critics, though, are likely to see Kushner's latest financial revisions as further evidence that the Trump family has something to hide, specifically business ties that may prove conflicts of interest around the world. Susan. So, Roe, Monday, Kushner will be testifying before the Senate Intelligence Committee about Russia, possible ties to Russia. What more do we know about it? Uh, yeah, and that'll take place, of course, behind closed doors. This isn't necessarily about Kushner's business ties with Russia, but will likely instead focus on a meeting he attended with a Russian attorney and several other people. The attorney we know had past ties to the Kremlin, and lawmakers are hoping to determine what was said, what, if anything, was offered, what, if anything, was provided, and how, if at all, that affected or perhaps influenced the November election. Now, Kushner is then scheduled to appear again before a House intelligence panel on Tuesday. Meanwhile, Trump's son, Don Jr., and Trump's former campaign supervisor, Paul Manafort, they were also at that meeting. They were expected to testify before the Senate panel on Wednesday. Now it seems they won't. In exchange, they've agreed to hand over through their respective lawyers all documents and records related to that meeting. Susan? Roy Ruttenberg in the newsroom. Thank you.